day, grade 12 students. Welcome to the philosophy of the human person. Our topic for today is about the human person and the environment. In this slide, you can see two pictures, two set of pictures. The other one is um, the orderly environment and the disorderly environment. If I will ask you, where would you like to go? Where would li you like to visit? In the picture one, what will you do? in that environment and the next environment what will you do in that place so i want you to think or reflect on the environment we have today is, the, is it still orderly or disorderly so i hope this picture will help you reflect on what happened or what is happening in our environment nowadays now I want you to ask, I want to ask you some questions like why do you think it is hotter more than it usually during the summer months? Why the typhoons are stronger and there is more rain during the rainy season? We experience flooding in the community. Our community is now dirtier and more disorderly compared to the past few years. So that was my observation. Have you ha ever wondered about the changes happening in our environment? What have you noticed about the weather and your surroundings? From the statements that I've read, is it true for your community? Scientists also monitor the changes in our environment. Their studies show that our world is changing not for the better but for the worse. And humanity is responsible for this. But why are these things happening to the world? How do our actions lead to negative effects on the environment? Should we even worry about these changes at all? Or is it safe for us to go about our business as we usually do? do? Try to put yourself in the following situations. Have you ever participated in a mountain trek? Imagine yourself at the top of the mountain looking down at the land below. Have you ever taken a trip to the beach? Recall the moment when you stood at the shore watching the sunset. Have you ever had laid down in a grassy field and gazed in the sky? How did you feel during these instances? Did you feel at peace with yourself and the world? Did you feel that you were part of something much larger than yourself? Did you feel that you were one with nature. Humankind is a part of the world and we significantly affect our environment in the same way the changes in our environment affects us. Environment philosophy. This is the discipline in philosophy that studies the moral relationship of human being with the environment. Environment philosophers tackle Issues such as humanity's role in the natural world, the interaction between the nature and human activities, and humanity's response to environmental challenges. Philosophers believe that a person has a special relationship with nature, unlike other organisms that are merely part of the ecosystems and exist to perform certain biological roles, the person has the ability to change the environment to suit for his or her purposes. The early history of humankind shows that whatever human came together to form communities, the landscape and the environment changed. Forests gave away to farmlands, mountains were mined for minerals and metals, and rivers and lakes were transformed to yield more resources for mankind. The pattern continues to this day. It is an orderly environment where human person tribes best so there are two types of environment or dirty environment with con which contribute to safety well-being and health it also helps people to relate more in nature the other kind of environment is disorderly environment which is caused by natural calamities human activities pollution proper waste disposal and this will result to disease and accidents. 
This order can give rise to several problems and challenges for humankind. This is most evident after any disaster like earthquake, volcanic eruption, typhoons, which result to the great damage in property, injuries, and even loss of lives. Normal activities are disrupted in the cities and communities. As a rational being, the person is not only capable of transforming the world, but also of understanding the laws which governs the nature. It can be said that the world is a text which the person can read and understand in order to live a better life. Because of this ability to access nature, the role of the person in relation to it can take from different forms. He or in any way he or she pleases. A person may also view the environment as something that envelops and surrounds him or her and thus they have a special and unique relationship. A person have, has the unique ability of cultivating nature, bringing it co closer to their intended ends. This means that persons can help the environment become greater than what it is originality if they take the task. There are two, three views about the human relationship to environment. One view is anthropocentrism. Focus on the significant role of humankind in the world and considers nature as the means by which humans are able to meet their needs and survive. Anthro, which means man, Man is the center of the environment. Farmers steal vast stacks of land to grow crops. Lovers clear forests for lumber. And mining companies dig up land and level mountains to access minerals and metals. Because of this view, uh, the selfless humans have abused the environment because they believe that they are superior to the nature. Biocentrism. Biocentrism believes that humans are not only significant species in the planet and that all organisms have inherent value and should be protected. The view drives the activities of humane organizations that advocate for ethical treatment of animals. In fact, our government has passed laws that recognize the rights of animals to be treated kindly, such as the RA 4485, the Animal Welfare Act of 1998. Finally, ecocentrism places great value on ecosystem. Humankind is part of greater biological system and has a role as stewards or guardian of nature. This view also promotes the idea that order and balance in nature brings about stability and beauty. Several philosophical views on the environment such as deep ecology and the uh, Gaia hypothesis emphasize the important role of interaction between the living and the non-living components of the environment. Now I want you to choose a song and make your own lyrics on how you will help sustain our orderly environment. That is for your performance task. To continue with our lesson, environmental aesthetics. When we say environmental aesthetics, this is a philosophical view that believes in maintaining order in the environment will bring out the natural beauty of surroundings and contribute to the well-being of the people and other organisms living in it. Sustainable Development Development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. To put it simply, the idea of sustainable development is any environmental, economic, and social advances can be realized within the carrying capacity of Earth's natural resources. Sustainable development 
can be attained through the sustainable lifestyle. What are the principles of su sustainability? Number one is environmental integrity, which means that any human activities or economic advances should not unduly disrupt the environment and human communities located in the area. The environment should not be drastically impacted by human activities. The example of this is the Kaliwa Dam project in Sierra Madre. So there are many environmentalists that are against the Kaliwa Dam. This could save the need for water, but this may affect the habitat of the Kaliwa Dam. And the other picture is about the Sierra Madre, which uh, serves as a shield during the Typhoon Ulysses last year. So it is very important that this environment should be not affected by human activities. Um, this will also affect the lives of the community living in that area. Next, principles of sustainability is economic efficiency. This is to ensure that there is a minimum zero waste to using our natural resources. We can use eco bags and tumblers instead of plastics and paper cups to attain economic efficiency. Principles of sustainability, equity, it refers to conserving our natural resources so that the future generations will still be able to use it. So there are many rehabilitation happening in the Boracay in order to preserve so that the future generation was still able to use it and the uh, Bahawan or mangroves are preserved in the forest so that it will reduce flooding during Typhoon. So thank you very much. See you on our next lesson. I hope you have learned from the lesson today.